sit for a bit. Do I take things too far? Maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'm being paranoid. Do you know, if I was to light a candle, I think the whole house would go up right now. Hello there. Yes, I know this isn't the most original thing to do on a channel and it's an unboxing and loads of other people do it. But, well, I'm, I'm one of the sheep, aren't I? I kind of follow the herd. So what the hell? Um, hopefully in here there's something retro-y, and if there isn't, it's going to be a bit of a weird video, but it should be what I'm expecting, so, let's see. Well wrapped. Now, this is how you wrap something. Random. Not sure what that is. Should be a clue. I to say, it's extremely well wrapped. I'm very impressed. Better than the, uh, the last Atari computer I bought anyway ended up in bits. Because yes, it's an Atari, which you can probably already see. Oh, and there it is. The Atari 520 STFM, I believe. Lovely. I've never owned one of these before. I've, I've never even used one of these before. I've always wanted to. So yeah, I've been looking forward to this arriving because I've never ever owned or even used one of these before. So let's have a little, a little look at it. The um, keypad feels okay. Feels like there's probably a membrane under there. I think it's mechanical. Very, uh, very like the Atari XE with all these little function switches at the top. It's a big thing. I mean, it surprised me the size of it, actually. In fact, let me get something to compare it with. I know the Spectrum is not the biggest machine, but it gives you an idea of size. It's a, it's a big beast. It weighs a ton as well. I assume the... Um, the power supply is built into it. That's probably the reason for that. So what have we got on this side? We've got a floppy disk drive. Round back. So what have we got? Modem, printer, hard drive, floppy disk. It says television. I'm going to assume that's RF. And monitor. Now I was thinking I could build my own little cable for this. But... Um, that funky thing. I don't know if I'll be able to buy a plug to fit that, but we'll see. Power switch, which is always nice to see. AC in and a reset. And on the side, what have we got? A couple of MIDI ports, I think, and an expansion. I assume there should be a cover over that, but that seems to have gone missing. And I don't know what that port would do. I don't have a manual. 
So underneath there's a couple more ports. I assume they're for the mouse and joystick. Again, not familiar with these machines, don't know. And somebody's been in here, so it's got a warranty sticker that's been damaged. And here, it's got a sticker with a date on it. I wonder if that's the manufacturing date or the sale date, I don't know. So 19th of December 1988, so yeah. Could have been somebody's Christmas present. Yeah, so I've noticed this. There's a little crack in the uh, space bar. And it doesn't feel too clever either. So it's uh, there's something going on under there. It might have come off its, uh, its spring bar. So that might need a repair. We'll see. Also, I think the seller mentioned that the, um, the mouse port is a little bit iffy. A bit temperamental, so that's something else that's going to need attention. That's fine. Right now, I just want to know if it's going to do anything, so I'm just going to go for it and plug it in and just see what it does. I can't do much testing because I've got no software for it, but let's see what we get. And let's see if it explodes. Oh. Oh. Got a clicky disk drive, I've got lights. Right, it's a white screen. Is that normal for these without a boot disk? I don't know. Maybe it is. Well, it's lit up, it is generating a picture, although it's a white one. And the disk drive's clicking. Have I got a blank disk? What's on this? Right, it's not going to like this because it's formatted for a PC, but let's see if the disk drive actually does anything. Yeah. Okay, that's clearly not doing much. But, um, I mean, it wouldn't, would it? Okay, fine. I am going to go away. I'm going to have... Oh, 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 that was something. Well, it's doing something. What does two cannonballs represent? In fact, let's turn it off. Let's put the mouse in, see if that makes a difference. I think that lives under here. Ah, we have some sort of menu, but no mouse. Am I in the right port? Oh. Well, that reset it. Okay, so we've got um, a dodgy connection on the mouse port. Definitely. I am going to do some proper research on this thing so I know what I'm actually dealing with, because at the moment I'm completely guessing. I don't know if that's normal or not. I know there's a dodgy connection there because it's just crashed the computer. I need to see if I can source a cable for it. I need to source some software for it. I need to have a look inside. I need to have a look at this keyboard and see what's going on with this space bar. So things to do. I'm going to take my time with it. Oh, oh, that's come back again. But no mouse. So there's definitely a problem there. But it's booting into something, so lovely. Okay, do you know what? First run, I'm happy. It seems to do something, so it's better than nothing. I think I'm going to enjoy getting to know this thing. If you are familiar with these computers and you're watching this video, please, please, if you've got any hints and tips or what I should look out for or even what the good games are once it's up and running, I'd, I'd really appreciate it, guys. So, um, so yeah. That was just a quick unbox and look at my my latest little acquisition thank you very much for watching hopefully there'll be a few videos on this coming soon cheers bye